robots. <laughs> now, normally when you think robots, you think some gigantic automation cell in an automotive company that is incredibly expensive to create. But today I'm gonna to show you a very, very affordable solution for you to automate your shop in one way or another. Depending if it's a lathe or a mill, it doesn't really matter. You can hook these things up to anything. You can even have it clean your parts. You can even have it deburr your parts. And you can have it do all that while your back's turned to it. It's quite magical. So that is what I want to show you today is how this whole system works. Let's get into it. right here is called a cube box. Now, this can hook up to any machine, whether it's a lathe or a mill, and it can run it for you. Now, how this particular model, which is called the RT works, is you have two pallets. You have the pallet that's working and you have the pallet that you're loading, right? So right here, you can see it's grabbing another slug, but when it finishes, it's gonna grab a part and put it where it just grabbed that slug. So it's literally gonna turn a tray full of slugs into a tray full of parts. And it can do lots of tests, like cleaning your part. Right there, it's using a cleaning station to blast air on our part and completely clean it off. And when it's done doing that, it's actually gonna go up to a little deburring station and it's going to deburr the part. And when it's done, you just open this door right here, you take out your old parts and you put in your new slugs. Now, I don't want you to get it in your head. I have to switch hands here, this camera's getting heavy. Now, I don't want you to get it in your head that the Cubox RT is the only Cubox out there. They actually have multiple different designs, right? So as you can see right here, we have the RT Stacker, which looks the same, but it's a little bit different. Instead of a pallet, it has more of like an old school system with the, um, I don't know what it's called, but these things are adjustable to whatever diameter you are running. So you can have a big slug, small slug, whatever. And yes, the robot will load the parts out of these. And then you have this guy right here, which this is the one that I've seen them use the most. So yeah, this one uses drawers. Now, the robot will actually come up and grab the drawer, pull it out, pick which parts it needs from it, put new parts in. I, I don't really know every single way you could set this up, but yeah, it seems to be this one is a really, really common option that our customers like. So where does a cue box fit in potentially at your shop? Why would you ever consider one, right? You might be thinking, well, there's already machines out there that are fully automated. You have machines like a Takamaz that have a gantry in them already that are designed from the ground floor to be automated. You have machines for even bigger work, like a Fuji. Again, designed from the ground floor to be fully automated. But that's what these machines are. With a Q-Box, you have a choice. You can be fully automated for any quantity out there, or you can go back to just doing one or two piece orders that you're loading manually. It's an integrated system, but it's not a fully integrated system like this. I hate to say it, Fujis are great. We sell a lot of them. They're in automotive companies everywhere. It would really be a lot of work if you did just five parts on a Fuji. Where with the Q-Box, I'm hooking it up to a machine that was already designed to make five parts. So you have a choice. You could even have a bar feeder hooked up to it as well. You could go from bar fed jobs to Q-Box robot load to just one or two piece orders all on one machine with the Q-Box. And I think that's really important to know. So yeah, those are a few of the different Q-Boxes out there. A little bit about how they work, but now I want to introduce you to our absolutely genius, esteemed, brilliant, awesome, tall, handsome engineer, Steve. And he's going to explain to you how they use this control to integrate the Q-Box to your machine. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented. <laughs> you two, I just did that perfect. So, I've shown you what this thing is, but now I have brought into the video a cube box expert, Steve. He specifically wanted me to say that. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But now he's gonna show us basically what you would have to do if you were to go from part to part, right? So we have a running demo that you just watched run, but now we have a part that's a little bit longer, a little bit bigger in diameter. So what do we have to do to get that to work? 
Steve, it's all on you now. All right. So the diameter doesn't matter all that much, but the height definitely does. So in order to clone apart and, and add a new one that's a little bit taller, we're gonna hit easy setup, clone, select the process that we wanna clone. And it's literally just gonna ask us what the height difference is gonna be. So instead of 65 millimeters, I'm gonna say that this one is 85 millimeters. And that's gonna add an extra 20 millimeters on each of the part locations for pick up, drop off, load, unload. It's gonna ask us to name, name our new uh, part style. So I'm not gonna put the number in the front because you can't do that. We're gonna put it at the, at the end of it. So it's just gonna be dynamic links demo 85. So now we've just literally created a new process. We can load it, select the one that we want. We can select all the parts. And you can, from here, you can select where the parts are at on the inlays, or you can just select all, save it, and you're ready to run. So that is the Q-Box. That's how it works. That's where it fits in in the industry and where it might fit in at your shop. Now, other than that, I'll be honest with you, I have a giant phobia of robots. I don't know why, but I always think these things are gonna like just turn on and rip me apart. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I, I, I know there's a sensor on the floor that will not let that happen. I don't care. I still don't trust it. So I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you have a great day.